This is what you've been working for, your senior year, getting this. Um, so, um, coming off last year, I was really, I had a lot of confidence, you know. But this year, I realized I'm really good now, I was committed. So I just came out every match, just, just scrapping, just going at it hard. And I don't really think a lot of people, I think people doubt me, honestly. I don't think a lot of people. Did you use that to fuel your fire? Keep yeah, it down you? De definitely. How about that? Uh, me and uh, one of my coaches, actually a couple of coaches, uh, would uh, stay after practice and just like, just go over like small little details to like just perfect everything. And uh, coming out in each match, knowing that people doubted me, gave me more confidence. Like I had nothing to lose. Like everyone, everyone thought like, oh, like these kids placed last year at 106. You know, they're gonna they're gonna beat me. No, I moved them wrong. You know, and, and it just gave me confidence when that once I beat Kenny, I knew I was like I'm the best in this bracket. Now you come, you've been in that room. You see the names on the wall. You obviously see it's been 1988 since the champ before you were born. That knowing that you're that gonna be on that wall and be that guy that the kids are gonna see in the future, how does that feel? Um, it feels it honestly feels amazing, right? I never thought I was gonna be here actually like ever in this position. Like when I was younger, I was never really that great, you know. So looking on that board, I, I used to wrestle in that room, right? Looking on that board, I'm like, I wanna be like that. And, and that drive that drove me to like be the best I can be, so I'm hoping that my name up there will uh, do that for others. Well, Ty, talk about the, you know, let's go back to last year. You had that gap here, that pause really from the state medal two years ago. Was that important, you think, to get to this point? Absolutely. I, I kind of slacked off a little bit after uh, I placed. I kind of felt like, oh, like, I'm the guy, you know, and I didn't have to work as hard as everyone. And that kind of just like had everyone just like pass me a little bit. So I wasn't able to place. And I, and I think like because that happened, I was able to push myself harder, right? And I, and I went to a new club and, and they were helping me out. And honestly, just like, like little things like that just like helped me so much. Now you run off the mat, you jump into your coach's arms, you hug them. The first person you see when you come off the mat is your mother. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys hugged each other and she's a huge supporter of you. That moment for her and you guys and, and every, you know, the clubs and going everything you did, her win, seeing you win a state championship, just the feeling you have for your mom right now. Um, honestly, I, I don't even know what she's feeling like. She's <laughs> over there making faces and stuff. She was hyperventilating in the match. She was living it up. She was praying at one point. Yeah, yeah so um, honestly, uh, I'm sure she's uh, probably more excited. I don't, I don't know if I say more excited than I am, but like she's, she's, she's jumping out of her seat right now. So um, I'm just really happy for her. I'm really happy that she was by my side this whole entire time. And I think that's really what helped me the most. Like just having someone there for me, and that was her. So I, I just appreciate that so much.